My name is Tony. I'm, I'm a waiter here in, in restaurant Disfruta. It's very hard work. Basically, your job is keeping up with their rhythm. These guys are so inventive and so creative. They always have a new dish. The rhythm and the passion for the work, it, it's contagious. Edu is super hardworking and an enormous professional. Uriol is, above all, a free spirit. He's amazingly creative. And Mateo is uh, extremely organized. He can do so many things at the same time. I mean, I'm, I'm simplifying a lot. They're very complex uh, people. Nosotros nos conocimos de hace 18 años en el bullying. O retirativo, o, la, o un poquito el, el mismo objetivo, o la misma causa o efecto, pero los años que hemos estado en el bullying han sido muchos. Y esos 17 años hemos compartido mucho más tiempo entre nosotros que con nuestra propia familia o círculo de amigos. Queríamos tener un restaurante propio nosotros tres. First time I heard about these three chefs to open the up shop in, in Caracas, I think that was about three years ago. And obviously they opened up here in Barcelona and everyone's talking about it. I mean, for me, I think it's really nice that there's this kind of restaurant which isn't on the main michelin star restaurant strip. Here's the tasting menus uh, we've prepared for today. Thank you. It's very important for us, for the, the locals, to, to feel welcome as well. Because I think many restaurants sometimes don't pay attention to that. And... As you can see, we have a, a longer menu, a shorter menu, and we have a special menu we've prepared for today. Choose wh whichever menu you prefer. I'm going to trust you, I think, on, okay. on whichever you want to bring out. Excellent choice. Okay. Sometimes these tasting menus, you spend four hours sitting down uh, having 30 dishes. I'm very interested in communicating cuisine. I think you can communicate a lot of values through gastronomy, and that's what I'm currently working at. We have a solid base of Mediterranean because we were born here and it's in our DNA, but we don't feel constrained. It's fluffy, it's frozen. I mean, these guys are an encyclopedia of, of technique. Donde intentamos, ¿no? Tiene tres premisas, que es que sea bueno, sí, que aporte algo y que al cliente no lo deje indiferente. Que no sea un hacer por hacer, sino que, que el cliente de verdad de una forma fácil y muy directa capte pues, pues algo mágico, bonito. It is serious food, there's a lot of work behind it, but you're not supposed to take it too seriously. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. It's very bouillie esque, tricking you into believing it's something, and then once it's in your mouth, it's something completely different. They call it in, in Spanish, it's a trampantojo. It's like snow. Snow? It's like eating a snowflake. I do not know how they do anything of what they've brought us. It's, it's, it's another level. We're going to continue with the appetizers. Uh, this one we call it Enjoy Olives, or Disfruta de la Aceituna. Uh, what we suggest here is that you eat with the spoon you have next to you, this one here, and you start with the green one. You continue with the black one, and when you once you finish with the black one, immediately after, you just lick this little spoon that has essence of tangerine blossom. Mm, green, then black, okay. You start with the green one, thinking that it's a real olive. Mm. But when you put it in your mouth, you realize it's not an olive, and it bursts in your mouth. It's a different technique. This is um, the traditional the white chocolate. Um, yep, sugar shell, yeah. but not sweet. Bueno, es, mira, lo que es importante es que Edu, por ejemplo, el equipo de sala, al final son las manos. O sea, Pero cuando que... entra un plato se le enseña por qué está hecho, cómo está hecho, cómo se come, cómo se explica. Lo que queremos, lo que quieras para, lo que queramos para nosotros le decimos que el camarero lo tiene que transmitir al cliente y cómo lo tiene que transmitir. Y las personas que transmiten un poquito la sensación real que tú quieres hasta el momento en que la gente empieza a comer y ya son ellos y el plato. High technique, great background working in Michelin star restaurant stuff, bringing it down to the people, taking away so much fussiness, take away too much of the technique and like just trying to make it as natural as possible. Mm. Oh, wow. oh, this is basically light my fire of this restaurant. You know? Tony, <laughs> tell us what. Let's going. see, here we have an egg yolk that's uh, in tempura and underneath the egg yolk you'll find there's a mushroom jello. It's very important you eat the egg yolk in two bites. Taking the first bite, you turn it, so the liquid doesn't follow the egg yolk. You can just finish it off uh, eating the mushroom jello with the spoon you have next to you. It's part of our style to go quite fast. But if you don't like the rhythm, we'll drop it down a notch. If my mother saw me, she'd be scolding me. I picked out here. Uh, our macaroni a la carbonara. Now I'm gonna add a carbonara foam, and as you can see, the macaroni are transparent. 
That's because they're made of gelatin. So we'll just mix it together just slightly, not too much, because if not, the foam will lose all, all the air. We have some cured salmon with cauliflower and vinegar and the seaweed salad. And here we have some porcini mushroom dumplings with some pine nuts. Very hot. With Johan, I mean, you could tell that he was extremely excited. He's listening to how you recommend to eat the, the things and he understands the importance of eating the dishes properly. Right. Mmm, like. They're taking everything forward. The chocolate, olive oil and salt thing because it's unobvious, but giving it this perfect appearance of a pepper. Very rare to find a waiter who can talk so comfortably and so knowledgeably about the food that he's presenting. Rub your hands and you smell your hands. So everything you eat from now on will taste of, of this very smoky whiskey. It was amazing. I, I, I like working especially for people that, that are in the business. And you could tell that they know uh, their stuff well. Bit more, bit more. <laughs> okay. No, no problem. <laughs> like, you know, like in the, <laughs> it's like an aftershave. Right? Yeah. So when somebody who's in the business appreciates your food and appreciates your, your job, it means a lot. It's laid back, it's down to earth, it's Mediterranean, it's true to its, its location, to its region in the world, it's true to the, where the chefs are from and most of the cooks I suspect, you know, I think this place has, has pulled it off really well. Salen dos langostinos. Claro, bueno, es esto, sentirse libre. Ahora mismo pues nos sentimos en una situación pues que, que han conocido nuestra cocina y nos apoyan. Tres nigiris cincuenta. Pero lo más importante es que estamos muy contentos y disfrutamos, porque hacemos lo que queremos. Y esto es lo más grande que te puede pasar, que disfrutes. <risa>